Hello, my muggle friends. When I was at Hogwarts in Gryffindor, I was really good at mathematics, and so can you. First of all, in Scribe, things that come in twos. I want you to think of things that come in twos, just like the number two. Hmm. But you guys here in the middle, what do you think? What comes in twos? Oh, go ahead and shout it out. What comes in twos? Okay, what about over here on the, this side? What comes in twos? Okay, I heard some good answers there. What about over here on this side? What comes in twos? One more time. Then scream it. So, we have eyes, ears, hands, chopsticks, twix. Mm, twix. Left or right? Feet, bicycle wheels, and shoes. Who's ever worn one shoe? Not very comfortable, right? All right, now what about this? In scribe. Oops. In scribe. All right, things that come in threes. And fuego. El fuego. There we go. A little bit slow with the wand. I might need to adjust my wand. So, what are things that come in threes? Groups of three. All right, this time let's start over here on this side. What comes in threes? Okay, shout it out over here in the middle. What comes in threes? Okay, and over here, what comes in threes? Very good. All right. En scribe. Uh, come on. En scribe. Things that come in threes. En scribe. Oh, my goodness. There we go. En scribe. Things that come in threes that I heard from your groups as you were shouting out. There were the sides of a triangle, stoplights, red, green, and yellow, uh, tricycle wheels, and also, and I can't read it backwards, trilogies, who likes trilogies? Love trilogies, good books. There's World's Worst Children 1, World's Worst Children 2, World's Worst Children 3. How many of you think you'd be in there? Probably none of you, you're all pretty good kids. All right, so, en fuego. Well, en scribe. All right, so, how many hats did R.R. wear when he was feeling sad? Shout it out. How many did he wear? That's right. El fuego. <sighs> two, right? He wore two hats when he was feeling sad. All right, en scribe. How many hats did R.R. wear when he was feeling really sad? Shout it out. El Fuego. Oh, it's working better. Three. He wore three hats when he was feeling really sad, right? All right. El, El Fuego. El Escribe. <laughs> There's some good hats, right? All right, so how many hats would four people wear, need, if they were feeling sad? Go ahead and pause this, and your teacher will hit play in just a moment. You're going to solve how many, four, how many hats four people would need if they were feeling sad. Press pause. All right, so we know we've got four people, right? Four people times the number of hats. And if you remember from the book, they wore two hats when they were sad. So... Four times two is eight. Put some clothes on that number. Hats. Four times two is eight, right? All right. Next one. El Fuego. Good job. Enscribe. 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 Come on. There we go. How many hats would four people need who were feeling really sad or very sad? Go ahead and press pause. You're going to solve that one as well. All right. Welcome back. So we we're trying to figure out how many four people would need who were feeling very sad. We know that four people, and then we would times that by the number of hats, and they each needed three hats if they were feeling very sad. So that would be four times three. Now, if I knew four times two, which is pretty simple, it was eight, could add four more onto that and realize that four times three equals 12, 12 what? 12 hats. 
no naked numbers. Make sure, oh, I got to quit pointing this at you. It might do something. It might turn you into a toad or something, right? All right. Now, el fuego. Look at this times tables chart. You can see that right over here we have the people and the number of hats. So, the number of people times the number of hats. So, let's think about this. El scribe. This wand. El scribe. All right. While this is slowly doing its work, there we go. And I have to get a little closer. So, how many hats would two people need on three hat day? So, remember, we've got two people, and then we've got three hat day. How many would they need? That's right, six. So, to do that, I would go to the two people, and then I would look over here to see where the three hats were, right? Okay, so then I would be able to answer that right there, 12. All right, next one, and scribe. How many hats would, is that six people, <laughs> need on three hat day? Hmm, where would I find this on the times table chart? Yes, I would go down to number six, right? And then I would look to see where zero, one, two, three was. What's right there? Exactly, 18. Okay, try this one. See if you can find where it would be on this chart. How many hats would nine people need on two hat day? So I showed you how to do that, right? So, hmm, nine is right there. Up here is the number of hats, two is right there. So what corresponds is the number 18. Pretty easy, right? I love time tables charts because they're pretty self-explanatory once you've done a few. So now discuss with your group What's how one times, two times, and three times are alike and how they're different. Your teacher's gonna press pause and we'll come right back to this question. This wand, I tell you. All right, guys, we're back. So now, we know that El Fuego, <laughs> you discussed how the one, twos, and threes were alike. So there it goes, finally. So, if we had here, we've got what? We've got four columns in one row? No, you guys are smarter than Miss Darling. You know that that is one column. So, four rows and one column. Four times one equals four. Now, what if we were to add that? El Fuego. That's pretty hot. All right, we would just add one more row or column. Oh, some of you said row. You've been listening to Miss Darling. It's one more column, right? Four times two, and you guys all know that. Here's the thing I love about three times tables. If you know your twos, you just have to add one more of that number for anything. Let's face it. We know four times two is eight. And if I add four more, yeah. El Fuego. One more time. Ah, I'm getting better. Must be rusty. So, four times three is 12. So we added one more column up and down one more column so four times one is four four times two is eight four times three is twelve now i think you're ready so you finished you, now it's time for you to finish your worksheet it's a pretty fun one this time it's going to be some coloring you're going to get to do some colors on your ipad at the end you'll see fireworks if you don't forget to submit all right guys best of luck to you you've done a great job today you've done a great job all year make sure you click submit We'll see you guys tomorrow.